Cheryl Baglioli here with Gel Press, and I'm back today with the continuation of my Prince to Project video. So last Wednesday, I showed you how, you know, here at Gel Press, we like to say nothing safe. So I gel printed directly on little round eggs, and they came out so cute. I wish that you could really see the way that the and interference paints really just create this little shimmer and cast and every time the light hits it it turns just a slightly different color so that was a lot of fun and then I actually took the a small the small gel press plate I took this little oval one the three inch oval and used it as a paint applicator to actually paint down in my little egg carton so now you can see that my egg carton is all complete and all painted up and just looking just as cute as it can possibly be. So now I have some spring decorations. I hope that you'll just stay tuned and watch the video as I finish putting this all together and I want to see what you're willing to gel press next. So thanks for joining us and I'll be back. Stay tuned. So I finished decorating all of my eggs. You saw the video Wednesday of me printing directly on these wooden eggs. And I had such a great time. I really wish that the camera could pick up the interference colors and how great the colors just are holographic, iridescent, and just shine so pretty. I. I couldn't tell you if one is my favorite or not. I just love the way the patterns came out. I love the colors, the shimmer, the iridescence. They're just gorgeous. I wish you could see them in person. But this carton is a little plain. So I want to work on the carton. And instead of just using a paintbrush again, I'm going to use one of these gel press petite plates. I'm gonna use this three inch oval. And I don't need a stamping block or anything. I want this to be flexible. And I, I love these for applying paint. They are strong and durable. I don't have to worry about tearing it up and I can just really get in some tight little places with it. So I'm gonna use this in conjunction with the eight by 10 gel press plate again in order to brayer out my color. This time I'm using some Crafters Workshop Heavy Body Spun Sugar, which is a white acrylic heavy body paint. I'm going to mix that with a little bit of the iridescent um, interference color, as well as I'm using a little bit of the blue because I'm going to add my favorite cobalt teal to this and really brighten that up and keep it. I didn't want to add a lot of varying colors to the egg carton because I didn't want it to overpower the eggs themselves. I really wanted the eggs to stand on their own. So working that through and now I'm, so I've got that heavy body paint and I'm going to come back in with that cobalt teal hue and add that so I can get some beautiful color and more almost a uh, monochromatic but because I'm doing it in layers on top of it it's going to look like it's printed it doesn't look like I've got one solid color because I'm laying each one of these on top of each other so I get a good variation of colors throughout using this oval gel plate I'm able to really get down in some of the bends and curves and really work it in there so you can see I can actually get some on the side and press it down into the hollows of this egg carton and when you run out of paint we're just gonna add some more and keep on going so I'm sticking with the same colors I'm not worrying about whether or not it's the exact tint or shade because again that's what's going to give this interest is the depth because I'm layering these on top of one another so if the colors are off a little bit but you see how it just picks up and I can just press it down in there and really work and get the whole carton completely covered. So I just continue to add more make sure I get the entire thing coated with a layer of paint and just continued to add it on there. I can even use the gel plate itself, the big 8x10, 
to press some color onto the flat surfaces. So you can see we can just press it right in there and then make sure that those side edges get a little paint on them too and that's what makes your product look like a finished project. So um, again just making sure everything's coated and voila! That easy! So I'm going to clean this up and let it dry. So after it's dried for a bit you can see that it's um, all one color, it's just that blue white, but it's got the variations of color that's in it. And it's going to dry super fast again. And look how these eggs just look so cute putting them in there. So in order to jazz up my little egg carton a little bit more, I'm going to add a few small embellishments here. So one thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add some ribbon, some spring trim that I had. And I'm using Beacon Fabri-Tac. And I'm just using just a very light layer of glue to run right along the edge. And then I'm going to wrap that ribbon all the way around the entire egg carton. Um, this will just add a little finishing touch to it and definitely make it a spring decor. So here's some close-ups. I hope that you enjoyed this project today. I hope you will try something like this for yourself. Dress something up at home. Start looking at items that you have around the house or things that you're using for decor and look at them in a different way. And just remember that no surface is safe with gel press. What would you like to gel press today? Hopefully you'll come back and see us again soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.